In this submission, we propose the first approach to reconstruct two interacting hands in 3D using a monocular event stream. Event cameras record streams of asynchronous per pixel intensity changes called events. Due to their high temporal resolution and high dynamic range, event cameras can operate under low lighting conditions and capture high speed motions. For visualization purposes, we represent the event stream as frames by aggregating events over time. The existing methods for 3D reconstruction of a single hand from a single event stream cannot be straightforwardly extended for two hands due to frequent occlusions and hand interactions. In addition, there is no existing dataset of two-hand interactions and event streams which prevents training new data-driven approaches for two-hand pose estimation. On the other hand, RGB-based methods for two-hand 3D reconstruction cannot be repurposed for event streams. To this end, we propose F2Hands, a learning-based framework to estimate the translation, shape and pose of each hand in the global 3D space from a monocular event stream. We convert the input event stream into an event cloud by slicing the events across time. In an event cloud, events are represented as space-time event points, each of which holding the number of positive and negative events fired at the corresponding pixel. The event cloud is input to our F2Hands framework. It is passed to a PointNet++ backbone to extract the point features. To obtain individual hand-specific features, we query the point features with hand-specific MLPs. Moreover, an additional MLP generates segmentation labels by classifying the events as triggered by left or right hands or caused by noise or changes in the background. We use a novel, feature-wise attention block to identify features that are more relevant to specific hands or hand interactions. In addition, the feature-wise attention mechanism refines the left-right segmentations by implicitly learning the event correspondences. Next, the weighted features are forwarded to the MANO regressors to estimate the shape, pose and translation and rotation for each hand. As a dataset with annotated two-hand interactions and an event stream is currently not available, we synthesize a new large-scale dataset and record a new real event stream dataset with 3D hand pose annotations. We generate our synthetic dataset by rendering synthetic videos of two hands interacting, which are then fed into an event stream simulator to produce event streams. The event labels are obtained by retrieving the pixel indices of the segmentation mask of each hand. We use a markerless multi-view motion capture system to obtain the global 3D pose of an actor. We record the event stream, along with the synchronized RGB stream, using an event camera Davis 346 and an RGB camera placed in front of the actor. The hand poses are then projected to the camera views of the event stream and the RGB image stream. We compare our F2 hands to event hands, an event-based method for 3D reconstruction of a single hand. For this comparison, we extract the events corresponding to the left and right hands before providing them to event hands. We compare our method against Intag hand by Lee et al., a monocular RGB-based method for 3D reconstruction of two interacting hands. This method takes as input a cropped RGB image of the hands, which is obtained in our setup by an additional RGB camera. Compared to Moon, our method predicts inter-hand distances more robustly when the hands are very close to each other. We also compare our method to Buchheimer et al., a monocular RGB-based method for 3D reconstruction of a single hand, where each hand is individually cropped and predicted. Note that our method is able to recover the global translation of the hands since it takes complete event frames as input, while the RGB methods require crops of hands. Here, we overlay the reconstructed 3D hands onto the event frame by using the camera projection function of the event camera.
Due to the high dynamic range of event cameras, F2 hands can reconstruct hands under extremely low light conditions, while the methods using RGB cameras would usually fail. Furthermore, the high temporal resolution of events allows us to capture very fast hand motions at 1000 estimates per second. This enables our method to provide smooth transitions between subsequent poses of the hands with extreme temporal sensitivity compared to traditional RGB methods. We perform an ablation study to validate our design choices. Here, we observe that the intersection aware loss mitigates the collisions between two actively interacting hands. When the segmentation branch is explicitly supervised during training, the network produces more accurate 3D reconstructions of the hands. In this example, the segmentation fails due to severe hand occlusion. The attention mechanism cannot retrieve reliable event features, thereby causing inaccurate hand translations. Thank you for watching.